All right, let's go to the hotline. Always great when we get our weekly opportunity to chat with Reed Sorensen. He drives the Dollar General Chevrolets in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, sitting third in the championship, just 47 markers out of the lead, but six weeks to go. Welcome back to the show, heading back to a place uh, you're pretty happy to go to, I would imagine, Dover, one of your best racetracks, right? It is. It's a, it's a place that I've enjoyed racing out for a while, and it's a place I've seen to have pretty good luck at. So we had a, a great car there the first race, and looking forward to, to hopefully having another one this week. Hey, Reed, what, what is that sensation? We've probably asked you this before. What's that sensation like when, mm-hmm. when it looks like you fall off of a, of a five-story building going into turn one there? That's mm-hmm. just about got to be like a roller coaster ride. It is. It uh, it definitely pushes you down in your seat. Uh, you know, Dover is one of those places where you can feel it, you know, a lot more than you can a lot of places. And I think this that's the way, you know, how much banking it has and how fast it is. It's actually a really fast place, even though it's only a mile long. Um, you know, you actually really feel the speed there and, and feel the G's against your body for sure. Yeah, it's certainly a place where... Uh, you, you it get your attention, no question about it. I mean, all the times I've been there to, to work and, and to watch and uh, just stand in the infield or stand up high there and watch you guys go around that place, the, the, the speed is unbelievable. It's a mile track, but I've always understood guys to say, you know, kind of races like a short track in a lot of ways. Stuff happens awfully quickly. You can't go out there with anything less than your best, can you? No, you can't. And when, uh, when something happens there, there's usually no way to get out because the inside wall <laughs> I was right at the bottom of the track, so you, uh, if you get in any type of altercation, you're usually going to hit the outside wall, the inside wall, or, or possibly both of them. So it's a place where, uh, you know, you can't really make a mistake or, or you know, be around someone who makes a mistake or your, your day's usually over. Hey, Reed, we had Joe Balish on the show just a few minutes ago, and Joe was talking about uh, – uh, the, your your view there, uh, going in the corner at, at, at Dover, Delaware, and we talk about riding down the road, looking out the the windshield. You guys Ooh. are looking out of the top left hand corner. At at best, you can't see but a couple of cars in front of you, right? Yeah, you know, a lot of the times you got to make sure you don't have too much paint on the on the top of your windshield because I've actually gone to a place like that and and Bristol the same way. Uh, where you do look out the top of your windshield, and if you have too much paint on it, um, you really can't see. So uh, the, the new cars, the, the COT cars, seem to have a better viewing area than the old ones did. And, uh, you know, as long as you get that paint high enough, you can, you're can you still looking out the very top of it. You can see uh, you can see far enough ahead of you to, to stay out of trouble, but uh, you definitely rely on your spotters to help you there. Notice uh, in the pre-race notes from your team that you're going to take the same Dollar General Impala there uh, that you ran third with back in May. Is this one of those places where bringing the same car back is a good thing for you, or you're, are you not sure what you're going to have when you get there? Well, you know, we, we did. I think that's just where they had it scheduled out, and uh, we're going to try to go back setup-wise very similar to the way we ended there. And, you know, just because we were happy with the car and how it ran and how it ran in the race. So, Hopefully it uh, starts off pretty close to that off the trailer and we can uh, fine-tune it a little bit and, and have a good car for the race. Reed, we've been talking about the uh, the chase and, and, and talking about who's in and who's out. Uh, we've looked at some guys that are back in 28th, 29th, and, and talk about those guys may be out of it, but I'm telling you right now with this new point system, uh, that's not that far back. You're a little bit further than that but you've only got a couple of guys in between you and the first place guy. You guys, I would imagine, are, are, are certainly thinking that you've still got a chance to win this championship. Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, what it takes is, is for the leader to have a, a bad day, whether it be, a, um, you know, some type of mechanical failure or, or just, you know, some bad luck happening or whatnot, and uh, we'll be about, right back in the mix of it. So uh, you never know what can happen. Uh, like you said, I mean, it's, there's not that uh, – there's only one person – uh, you know, in between us and the leader right now. And um, if that one car has a mistake, then we'll be right back in it. Is this a case of you having to keep an eye on the scoring pylon, uh, keeping an eye on where Elliot Sadler is and where Stenhouse is at this point? Or or do you just go out there thinking, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to race the best possible race that I can pull off here today? Yeah, for us, you know, where, where we're at and being 47 points back, uh, really we're just going hard as we can and, and trying to get another win before the year's out and, uh, you know, we really don't have uh, any pressure on us to, to see where those guys are at. For us, it's just to go try to win and, and finish where we can. So, we, uh, you know, we really don't have much pressure on us right now. 
Hey, Reed, we've had an opportunity this year to talk to you quite a bit about the guys working on the cars over there, uh, your guys. Uh, looks like they've been doing a pretty daggone awesome job on pit road. Uh, those guys pretty proud of, of, of what they've been able to accomplish this year. Uh, the better you run, the harder they work, the harder they work, the better you run. Talk a little bit about your guys again. Yeah, the, the well, actual picture over the wall guys have been, uh, have been really good lately. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the best you can have is when every single week they're consistently good and you don't have any issues. That's when, uh, you know, that's when you're really proud of those guys and the job they do. And as far as stuff, you know, the mechanics that work on the car, we've had real good luck all year with, uh, you know, nothing happening. So those guys have done a great job as well. And, uh, you know, they're not giving up on this points thing either. They're, you know, they, they fought all year just like I have and, and everybody else on the team to, you know, to give ourselves an opportunity to, to be in this championship hunt. So they, uh, they know there's only a few handful of races left, but they're not giving up yet. How do you approach a weekend like this? Uh, for, you know, what have you been doing to get ready this weekend? Have you just been taking it easy? Have you been uh, doing sponsor things? I know Dollar General's got a pretty big promotion going right now. Have you been working on that with those folks? I've actually been – I had to go to a wedding this weekend. Ah! And uh, <laughs> I didn't get to see any of the race on Sunday because I was traveling. And then uh, yesterday I actually had to drive down to Georgia and go to a funeral and drive back Ooh. last night. So I haven't, uh, haven't, been, haven't been doing – the regular normal things I do, that's for sure. So, in other words, your your week off has been a pretty busy week of, of just getting caught up on family business, right? Uh, yeah, it seems to be. And, you know, it took, it took away the off weekend, but it's uh, it was fun to go do that. That's actually – I was actually in the wedding, and uh, that was the, the first one I've ever been in before. So, I was learning a lot about how all that stuff goes. There you go. So, when yeah, the time that, comes yeah. for you, you can, you'll be all set, right? <laughs> It looked expensive, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but here's here's the thing. If you pick the right young lady, her family is responsible for that cost in large measure. So, you know, that's that's the traditional way to do it anyway. <laughs> well, you know, that's true. <laughs> so you're you're laughing as though you know that's not gonna happen when it's your turn, is that correct? Well, I don't know. I'll have to find someone that'll marry me first, I guess. <laughs> Well, there's your off-season task. When we start talking to you, yeah. getting ready to go to Daytona next year, we'll look, for, you know, we'll look to have some news on that front from you. Okay. All right. <laughs> you got a short time yeah. to work on that. So. Yeah. When, when when will you guys get ready, and and when will you actually go uh, to to Dover this week? We uh, we should go Thursday afternoon. Um, I don't think they have any tech or anything Thursday, so uh, went by the shop this morning and. Uh, you know, the car was pretty much almost ready to go because we had that off weekend. And uh, actually, they're they're pretty far ahead of schedule because we haven't uh, haven't tore up too many cars this year. And they're you know already working on the Kansas car, which is actually the car we ran at Chicago and and uh, didn't have any damage on it. So they're pretty far ahead right now. And um, actually, our our Charlotte car was already out there on the floor, and it's uh, it's painted pink for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, those guys are pretty far ahead of schedule right now. Good deal. You realize you just jinxed yourself by saying we haven't torn many cars up this year. That's all right. We'll, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> I've already had a couple of things bad luck happen, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've, you've experienced the highs and the lows of uh, life, no question, going to a wedding and then having to go to a funeral. So, uh, and, and uh, no, all kidding aside, I mean, those are that's a lot to take in in a week's time, no question about it. Well, listen, uh, travel up safe. Have a great day Saturday up at Dover. We look forward to hearing your progress towards the championship here on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. We'll talk to you next week, okay? All right, guys. I appreciate you having me on. Right, you bet. Always our pleasure to have Reed Sorensen with us. He drives the 32 car, the Dollar General Chevrolets for Turner Motorsports.